What's up, YouTube? Uh, just finished a week of trading. Friday. It's about 7 o'clock Eastern. Market's closing officially in about an hour. Um, FedEx. I should have known. I should have known. Because I've been listening to my satellite radio a little more since I haven't been live streaming all week till uh, this evening or the, this afternoon I should say and uh, they they were talking with FedEx earlier uh, like one of the CEOs or something I think somebody from FedEx anyways and they they were predicting a global uh, shipping crisis okay and FedEx come out and said something even worse than that essentially um, within the last 24 hours they cut their guidance, their forward forward uh, outlook. Um, stock was down 22% on the day. A uh, large portion of that was in the uh, pre-market. Obviously, you had the insiders who were in the know. Tank it all in one bar. Typical blatant manipulation that we've come to know and expect. But um, it still bled for the rest of the day. Now, UPS only took a 4% haircut, which I find a bit perplexing. Uh, they're not going to be in any better situation than FedEx. So, uh, I've, I've personally gone ahead and shorted some UPS. Uh, I, I, I kind of was on the fence with shorting, uh, with buying puts on it. I want to see what happens on Monday open. I want to see if we're still headed down or if we open a little higher. Because I think the puts are going to be an inflated price right now, and why pay for two week? Why pay for the weekend if it isn't going to be a big move, right? So, because you're you know you're you're going to lose two days of uh, interest, um, time decay, I should say. So, um, with that said, what I really want to get to show, and that's what's going to be the, the thumbnail on the video, is that uh, the puts on um, FedEx, uh, some of them were as high as, and this isn't a glitch, 285,000% returns today, guys. No, I didn't say 2,000%. I didn't get the zeros wrong or the decimal. 280 plus thousand percent one dollar would have been two hundred and eighty thousand dollars one dollar <laughs> because the stock has been so stable they said this is like the worst day it's had since the eight since like 1980s the 80s this is the worst day it's had since the 80s so the stock's been so stable it's like a staple in people's portfolios and retirement funds and things like that and it made a 45 dollar move to the downside in a single day you know the market is bad when a stock like that guys moves that much in one day it's only going to get worse i have been advocating to short companies to buy puts if you can't short buy the puts <clears throat> if you can't do either of those you need to find funds like the sqqq and buy that Okay, uh, reverse indices funds, okay, I index funds. So, like the SQQQ, it, it'll, it, does, it shorts a whole broad range of, of, of tickers, and then you, you buy it. So as the market goes down, it goes up, okay? I'll, obviously, I'll tag the tickers that I'm talking about, like the QQQ. or The QQQ, you buy it if you, you think the market's going up, the tech mostly tech okay um and you would short it if you didn't want to play the qqq for some reason or uh the tqqq would be a triple leveraged okay so if you think the market's going up you buy that and you get triple your money every dollar it goes up you get three bucks um like every dollar you invest as it rises your dollar would be triple leveraged that means your losses are triple too okay so <clears throat> But you could short that if the market was going down and get triple. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and short UPS. Uh, 
I think that they were doing damage control today saying ah you know we're gonna absorb some of the volume for FedEx no you're not <laughs> where are you gonna find the truckers where are you gonna find the workers you're gonna you're gonna just pay exorbitant gas prices for all these goods you're gonna have your service go down like your quality of service go down and then you're gonna and then what you what are you gonna run into people are gonna be getting their deliveries for free what happens when you buy insurance on a on a expedited item and it doesn't arrive on time you get your money back it's free they can't they can't just they can't just change overnight and, and absorb all of FedEx FedEx isn't some small next-door neighbor carrier it's massive so <clears throat> just switch my view I mean look at the prairie plains guys Alberta Canada this is like the backyard area little ravine it's all totally dry right now but as it rains it'll fill up and whatnot anyways you, you don't you don't absorb it maybe a very small percentage if 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 at all the market thought or believed what they were saying uh, UPS wouldn't have fallen about 5% today okay <laughs> so my strategy has has gone from being an ape buying and holding everything holding for the moon to what are big money doing what are the whales doing I they are the whales and the sharks I'm the remora that's swimming next to them feeding off of their scraps you know feeding off of their prey and this has become pretty successful for me and the people to watch my channel over the last few months I'm just a new channel still I'm still new I mean even after a year I'd be new it's actually not uh totally empty there's water down there so anyways um, how do you how do you how, name me one stock that is giving you a 288 thousand percent return you know they're these squeeze plays guys these these potential squeeze plays it's all BS nothing squeezing anymore they're gonna create ape on whatever ticker is if you think it's gonna squeeze they're just gonna make shares if you think it's gonna squeeze they're gonna sell a private placement equity like they did with TBLT you think it's gonna squeeze they'll do something to muck it up okay they just that's that's how it's gonna go so those are out those are out what's left uh, IPOs well okay maybe super high risk uh, you're basically gambling in the dark straight up because that could go either way on you there really is no telling which way those will go and as of late they all go down yeah we had HKD run again but I think we all know at this point that that's hedge fund controlled not retail and they were using it to avoid margin calls they run that up two three four hundred percent it looks real good on the books their accounts grow in size that's kind of where we're at I think they 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 know what's gonna happen to FedEx before it happens they load the boat on puts and the puts go up two hundred and eighty eight thousand percent guess who's not getting a margin call anyone who has that I, I can't even believe it we're talking about it in my discord this guy's like I showed them that he looks up the next week next week's puts guys same thing they're up 18 25 thousand percent okay I looked up two weeks out two weeks out three thousand percent thousands of percent to tens of thousands of percent to hundreds of thousands of percent so my YOLO plays going forward are gonna be some out of the money puts every week on some of these quote unquote stable companies it's gonna basically you're basically gonna lose your money I'll tell you that right now for the most part okay but any one of them a Costco a Home Depot right Meta Amazon any one of them comes out with some weird funky news some bad guidance takes a 20% fall any one of them UPS uh, 
you're <laughs> you're not going to hear from me again. I tell you that. I'm probably going to be done. That happens. Uh, I will be free from it all at that point because I'm not making the same mistake twice that I did with AMC uh, where I don't cash in my $2 million <laughs> like a moron. So, um, you know, maybe it never plays out. Maybe I'm, maybe, maybe I'm, uh, I just lose, you know, one or 200 a week, whatever. I've been rolling the spy all week. I'm hot. I'm rolling hot. I haven't lost a dime. I haven't lost a drip. Today I made 1800 on the spy, flipping it. The spread is so good and you can do it so fast that uh, often, like on my Discord, I was showing sometimes less than two seconds entry and exit. I'm up 75 bucks. A, uh, what is it? Like $45 an hour job is like, what is that? 90 grand a year? Something like that? 70 grand a year? I'm posting 75 bucks in two seconds. Like, who needs who needs who needs to go clock in for someone else, build someone else's business, and you know, build someone else's dreams up, be told what to do, when to take a leak. You know, don't look at that website, don't listen to music while you're working, this, that, and the other. Literally being owned and controlled by someone who needs it when you can make money yourself. With discipline trading, with adapting to the market, I said, no longer am I going to be trying to be like the retail hero who's fighting the big boys. It's like, you, you follow the big money. Let them show you what's happening with the market. Someone said, well, when is a good time to buy? Everyone's buying the dip. I'm not buying the dip. When big institutes stop selling off and start loading the boat, that's the time to buy. Reorganizing their portfolio by selling some stuff and, you know, maybe buying the dip on a couple of stocks. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about full on loading the boat. They are sitting on a lot of cash right now. A lot of these funds. They've gone to a called, what's it called? A cash position. Cash heavy. Um, 60-40, probably. Equities cash. Something like that. Just look it up. Look, do your own research. Um, you know, figure out, what are these guys doing? Because, yeah, some of them have lost money. But I'm, but when, when Ken Griffin... So this time last year, guys, Ken Griffin sold a Florida property for like a hundred something million. Okay, he sold it. And we were all like, ha ha... We got you. Well, guess what he did? He adapted because he's a skilled investor. Whether you like him or not, and I hate his guts, he's skilled and he knows what he's doing and he's connected up the A. So what did he do this year? Just, I think, within the last month. He bought an over $100 million property in Florida. Okay? Uh... He's, he's not doing that if we're hurting him and his business, okay? Um, he, he's, he's been making bank on dumb money for the last, I would say, at least seven months, eight months. Basically since November. So let's call it ten months. Because uh, it's been pretty bad, actually, since then. For the most part, for retail. I think they said that retail is down 25% percent um portfolio size and a lot of us are not buying the dip so basically <clears throat> basically they are uh actively monitoring what we're doing Ooh, how are they doing that because half of you guys in the u.s have something that's illegal and banned everywhere else in the rest of the world Payment for order flow apps, Weeble, Robinhood. You guys use it like exclusively. They know everything about you. They front load all of your trades. They scalp you fractions of a cent, if not full cents, or even two or three cents on every trade. Both ways. <laughs> um, 
which is kind of insane because how the hell is Robin Hood losing so much money when they are doing this? Like, what are they just super bad at doing that or bleeding money or hmm, maybe they maybe they have to pay someone an excessive absorbent amount of money just to be able to run this illegal scheme essentially that's going on. So, anyways, I was wondering why things look so dead. They, they chemicalize, they put chemical everywhere. Jesus. Anyway, we've got like a massive invasion of this. All of these like white flowers, it's, it's this super invasive plant. But it's like, they, it's way beyond out of control. Like, that, what the hell are they going to do? And then you've got this random ass sunflower. Wild. Growing. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I get a little distracted uh, by uh, the scenery and the nature. Um, on my walk and talks, this is a I call these walk and talks. Um, but yeah, damn it, I did awesome on the market this week. I'm stoked. Uh, my only bad play of the week was on Friday. I held a I held a sizable spy put. Uh, I think it was 20 contracts. Monday it rallied out of nowhere. And I got destroyed for like, you know, a substantial amount. Made it all back by Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday though. And then I'm um, in the green. So, because Tuesday, it gave it all back. Because it's all manipulated. <laughs> it's all for options. Gamma Crush. Um, IV Crush. Right? They know Max Payne. Sucker you in. Ah, it's a recovery. Load the boat. Buy the dip. You buy the dip, they just destroyed anyone who did any dip buying i'm in long on nothing right now even sold my cfvi um sold it at like 1250 it looked like a double top to me so i so i dipped out 1240 1240 i, I dipped out lost 360 bucks less 50 cents a share times 200 shares so that's what has 100 bucks Less 100. So I lost 200 something because I had some covered calls from before on it at like uh, 13 strike that printed because it wasn't even 13. So <clears throat> long on nothing. I'm short on UPS. I'm short on this other AIOP or AIOX or whatever the hell it was that ran today. It was like up 50 percent, 60 percent with like insane volume, like 80 million volume. So uh, I don't have my screens in front of me or anything like that, obviously. Shorted that. It's like three, two se three, three, three seventy-seven, I believe. Right? Uh, looks like looks primed to Fibonacci retrace to like two sixty-five. You know, nothing big. I'm just looking for like maybe open on Monday. The cost of board was zero, zero percent. So who cares? And if you don't know how to short or do any of that, I probably should have said this fifteen minutes ago. I have the videos. I tell you all about it. It's one of them's 45 minutes. It took 45 minutes, explained everything. I actually had to do it twice because I was like showing some account infos or something. So I had to do it all over. It's all there. Go check it out. I had people asking me questions today that I know that said they watched my video. They didn't watch it because it was answered in the video. And there's lots of videos online on, on shorting. It's, there's this big stigma about it. You have to move where the market is moving. When the Fed is telling you, the Fed is telling you, we're got to bring it down 20% or more. We are going to take this to a recession if need be. People will be losing their jobs. They're, it's going to be worse than 08 because they printed trillions of dollars during the demic. You're not allowed to say specific words on YouTube or you get in trouble or demonetized. So, they printed trillions. You don't have trillions to print, to borrow. It's not, it's not, it's not the government printing. It, it's the Fed. The Fed is an independent body. The Fed isn't the U.S. government. The Fed's loving it. You guys dug yourselves such a big hole. You'll never be able to get out of it, ever. You will never ever get out of the debt that you printed just in the last year. Not only that, you're sending half of it to a foreign country for a pseudo 
W A R. <laughs> Another word I probably can't say. So <laughs> you got if the markets are going down, just ride them down on the put side, on the short side. Ride it down and make money. Red, red, you'll never see red and green again, ever. You'll just see green in your bank account because red will become green and green will still be green. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Cheers.